Cornhuskers here tonight. A really a case in point there in those first two possessions, everything we were talking about, the deliberate nature of the Badgers and the up-tempo nature of the Huskers. Brad Davison hitting a three. Badgers just one of four early on here from the field. Here's Trice trying to end that, and he does. Big shot, Demetric Trice. We talked about how Aline Ford needs to get going, and you have to think Demetric Trice, if Wisconsin's going to have success, they're going to have to get him going as well. There's Wall. Now Trevor Anderson is checked in. Nice feed to Wall. Slips it inside the Reavers. And the Huskers with the rebound. Here comes Burke in transition. And he cheat him. Blocked away by Reavers, who keeps it in play. Now Anderson the other way to King. Nebraska's gone four minutes without a point. Burke trying to end that, and he does. He is an explosive athlete. So Nebraska can do in the half-court offense here. Not really their specialty, but Burke through the lane, just as I say it, Rob. Boy, but between Cam Mack and Deshaun Burke, Nebraska has two guys that are so explosive off the bounce and can find some open shots or lanes to drive the ball. Here's Mack for three, and he got it. Cam Mack hitting the three ball now, seven points. Here's Easley. Udraogo. Now Mack will try another one, and Nebraska takes the lead. Building that culture and building a foundation with some nice pieces. Cam Mack has shown you he's one of the really good guards in this league. Oh, well, just backing his man down. Mack goes down, and Dave, he was throwing me around the paint like a rag doll. It was literally a joke. Well, that team wasn't a joke. No, they were good. They had Eric Gordon, well, your team and wasn't White. a joke. It was, it was a really good Indiana team. Trying to get into the lane on Davison. Cheatham. And the three, actually going to say a long two. Three point lead for the Badgers. Max got to hurry. Gets it up in time and gets the roll. He knew exactly how much time he had. The conference game. Price thought about one there. Davison will try one. And there you go. Oh, so a new <laughs> season high for man threes in a conference game for the Badgers. Logo has had multiple chances at the rim tonight and just has not been able to convert. How about Davison again? Here's Reavers inside. Gets it to go off glass. He got great position. The defenders unable to come over. A big time post up. By Reavers. Great start to the second half for the Badgers. Reavers. And Fred Hoiberg needs a timeout. Last year, top Juco point guard in the nation. Out of the corner, Davison really catching fire. And Hoiberg looking on again, year one here at Nebraska. Price hitting the long two. That is five points now for him. Rivers has done it on both ends tonight. He, he's really played some of his best basketball. We talked about how Michael Potter coming back all of a sudden less is more. Himself to the foul line tonight, an efficient night, shooting it well from deep. Mack trying to take it at him, gets the roll and count the basket. So the foul there on Davison will be his third. In effect on this Badger offense. There's Potter surrounded to Anderson, drains the three. Well-coached teams that had really good guys and can't leave out Trayvon Hughes either, a big-time scorer. Strong take by Kevin Cross, and the freshman will go to the line to try to finish off the three-point play. Trice, now Ford with a head of steam. What a welcome sight for Wisconsin basketball fans to see Aline Ford kind of snap out of this funk. That ball was on Cross, his third. Here's Trice. They have tied the school record now. Trying to play fast. They're trying to get perimeter looks. They've got some explosive guards. They've got guys that can really get to the basket. And it's just a matter of time of getting their personnel in, getting their recruiting class in next year, which walk on some run here. The entire group of walk ons in here. For Wisconsin off the block there. It's a couple free throws and basically academic. Walt McGlory will let the 
Clock run out on an 82-68 Wisconsin win.